that's it for the award bullshit I made up. Now for the top tens of, or fives, or threes of, of movies, games, and porn, and all that other shit we do. Yep. Doing porn? We can do porn. Okay. Number one porn. <laughs> Number one porn. <laughs> Number one porn. <laughs> It's definitely that uh, that Witcher three. Oh yeah. Oh dude, like the first scene, man. Yeah. <laughs> like just just what she he's kind of all up in her anus, man. No, dude. Have you even played? Have you played The Witcher three? I don't know. I've not played Witcher three. Oh my god, dude. Like seriously, I have. Like holy shit. <laughs> dude, it's a lot of porn. Number two is Game of Thrones. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's also a lot of porn. Yeah. Okay, this is gonna be a hard one. <laughs> Oh, we're not gonna, oh, we're, just, we're, just, doing, we're just doing best ofs. We're just doing like top <laughs> fives, top tens, top threes, top sevens, whatever. Yep. Hmm. So what are we gonna start with, guys? Movies, games, porn, anime. I mean, uh, we already did porn. We, we what? We already did porn. We already did. Porn. We gotta do something different now. Yeah. Nicole, yeah, Nicole, I've been running this. Your, your turn. You pick some. All right. Um, we can do some animus. All right. This is all you. I, I have not <laughs> seen any animus. I know. All right. Max, have you seen animus? <clears throat> I've seen some animus, but nothing from this year. Yeah, that that was the hard part. I've seen so much animu this year. I had to go I back and look. I have a nomination look. for worst one, though. <laughs> I know you do. It's on my list. <laughs> <laughs> I saw just so much anime. I couldn't remember what actually came out this year and what I was just rewatching. So, uh, five anime that I've seen that are actually from this year that you should probably give a watch. Uh, first one... Uh, Aaron, we're just gonna get this out of the way. DBZ yep. Super. DBZ Super <clears throat> is just the most garbage anime you could watch. Like, I'm sure there's worse, <laughs> pretty... probably. Like, ones that are legitimately offensive, but it's just a really badly put-together film, movie, anime, whatever. <laughs> and it is just... No, just... Guys, I know what you're trying to do. Just stop it, okay? Mm. Stop it. It's not entertaining. It's not funny. Stop making Vegeta such a pansy. Stop making Goku do everything. Let Piccolo save somebody for once. No. I'm done. <laughs> Are you done? Okay. Gohan should do stuff. <laughs> now I'm done. All right. Okay. All right, you're done. Okay. Um, all right, so stuff that I've watched is season two of Food Wars. I, I watched... A little bit of season two with Angel, and he had to drop out after like one episode. He's like, "This is far too anime for me," because Food Wars is pretty much about this kid who grew up in this family restaurant, so he dreams of becoming this awesome chef. So his dad is like, "Hey, son, I got, I got a job in America. I'm gonna send you off to this cooking school, and we're gonna close down the restaurant." Okay, thanks, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. How was your day, son? Yeah. Uh, it was okay. That's nice, son, but we're shutting down the restaurant. Go to America. <laughs> no, Go get his America. dad is going to America. He's shipping his son off to, like, this cooking school. And when the son gets there, he realizes, this is, like, the top cooking school in all of Japan. It's so hardcore. <clears throat> but we're... Okay, son, I'm, I'm leaving you. I'm going to America. Yeah. Go, get, go become so, a chef. So, of course, in true anime fashion... The second season is this tournament where the top chefs in the first year are picked and they compete against each other to win a spot on, like, the top ten chefs in the whole school. But where Angel th drew the line was whenever, some, whenever a character eats some sort of delicious food that one of the chefs has made, it gets kind of sexual. Like, their clothes fly off, and they start oh, making wait, orgasm what? sounds. Yeah. Like, one starts breathing heavily. Yeah. This is a game I heard about. Um, this one girl, it was like the first scene. It was in the first episode. This one girl eats some, some really horrible octopus. So in her horror, <clears throat> in her, like, little horror scene in her mind, she's getting essentially raped by these tentacles. Is that stereotypical hentai? <laughs> yep. <coughs> so, yeah. Yeah, that's... Yep, that, that, that's what happens. That's what happens? Yeah. <laughs> like, what, what happens when 
when you eat horrible food, like this, this happens to me all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I think Aaron died. I think he did. He's just really quiet now. Isn't yeah. he? I had to like mute my microphone and use a tissue. Oh, okay. Uh, I was being polite. Oh. Thank you, Max. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Oh, shit. Holy fuck. Holy fuck, Max. Watch your holy holy fucking language. (laughs) You know, Aaron, you're a holy fucking cunt. (laughs) Wouldn't wouldn't cunt need the word holy in front of it, too? No, because fucking cunt is all one word, so if you put holy in front, you're fine. Yeah, there's just a, um, like, what is it, a hyphen in between? Yeah. Yeah, he hyphenated. Yeah, so... (laughs) Holy piss off. Is this just how priest cuss at each other? I think so. No, I think priests cuss at each other by doing <clears throat> that and also splashing holy water on their throat when they're done. <laughs> it's like, oh, gotta, gotta cleanse that. There we go. All good, yep. all good, all good. <clears throat> Alright. Um, my number two is Snow White with the red hair. This one is... At first, I thought it was going to be like a retelling of Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. But they're just taking the idea of Snow White and throwing her in a shoujo where she falls in love with a prince. And they tease the romance just enough where it's not painful. And I so appreciate that. <clears throat> Are you all right, Max? Max, yes, go. CSGO. How's it going to stay up till midnight? Right. Oh, no, here's the problem. T- later tonight, like starting at 9, we're going to have, me and my friends are having a, a live stream that's going to last all night. Hmm. So, like, that's going to be interesting. Oh, yeah. Especially one's already been up for, like, <coughs> nine, ten hours. <coughs> is German. Hmm. Uh, my number three pick is My Love Story, which is another shoujo. Um, it's pretty much about these two high school guys. One of them is like the stereotypical super handsome guy that all the girls fawn over. And this other dude who's like, he has that stereotypical look of kind of the bully in anime. Like that ugly bully that picks on somebody <clears throat> so not who you would think would be the main character of an anime so pretty much he meets this girl and hilarity and romance ensues and it's really adorable i'm seeing a trend here <laughs> yeah i watch a lot of shoujo we can tell <laughs> shoujo delicious hashtag shoujo delicious um, there's also number four is Seraph at the end, which is the <clears throat> vampires have killed off a lot of humanity and now are using humans as cattle pretty much. But of course there's a group of humans who are trying to kill all the vampires. That sounds like Attack on Titan. <clears throat> a little bit. And Attack on vampires. Attack on vampires. <laughs> And they battle the vampires by making packs with demons. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Now that that just brought up bad memories of bad anime. <laughs> I did not like Attack on Titan at junior high. Uh, and then my number five is something that just came out. Uh, did you want to venture try? That's a movie. That's cheap. It's split into episodes. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm calling the cheat, but I, I, I'm not gonna stop. <clears throat> I, I just want to know that I, I'm calling it the cheat. Ah, uh, you always call things I do a cheat. <laughs> but yeah, it is following the the Digi Destins of Digimon Adventure One, and Izzy and Mimi are so fucking adorable. I can't handle how adorable they are. Like, better adorable than before, or what? So Mimi shows up from America, and, like, Izzy Izzy is in love with this girl. And it's so adorable how they interact. Because they're sitting in a car, and Izzy's face is, like, all red. 
and Mimi gets like real close to him. She's like, she's like, what <clears throat> are you, are you surprised at how beautiful I've gotten? See, it's weird to me because I never really pictured those two getting together at all. Neither did I. Like, I always but, thought maybe Joe more so <clears throat> than him, but I just never would have thought of Izzy. Izzy oh, always seemed like an, a recluse, like, I hate humanity, I'm going to just be my computer guy. <clears throat> oh my god, poor Joe. I'm just going to say poor Joe. Does, does he die? No. Okay. Worse. Oh no. <laughs> is, he, is he forced to be Jar Jar Binks? <laughs> Okay, not that bad. Okay. <coughs> Bring it back a little bit. Not Bring that bad. Back. Well, it can't be he works at Konami now. Oh, no. No, I I hope that doesn't happen to Joe. <laughs> so what happens then? Uh, pretty much the nightmare for any Japanese student. He's going to cram... Oh. He's in his last year of high school, and... Of course, he's going to cram school, trying to get good grades, and he's just bombing. Oh. He studies all the time. He's like, no, I can't hang out, guys. I gotta study. And I'm just like, no. Poor Joe. It's a hard, it's a hard knock life. Yep. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, so those, those are my picks for animus. I, I like those picks. Round of applause. Round of applause. Yeah. Round of applause. If I could applaud right now. To fix my mic. There we go. Um... <laughs> Well, should we move on to films? Yeah. All right. I have a list of top ten films here, but I don't want to take it too long, so I will do a quick, like, ten through six, and we'll actually talk about the top five. How about that? Okay. And then uh, when we get to top five, Max, <coughs> uh, Max and Nicole, if you guys want to throw in your suggestions as well, we could, like, debate a little bit. That'd be cool. All right. Uh, so number ten, Fury 7. I might have put it up higher if, it, if I hadn't seen it so many times, but I saw it way more than I expected <laughs> to. Uh, but it's still good. It's still got good action. It's just, you know, the same implausible bullshit you see in every other one of these movies. Um, just, yeah, that kind of thing. Uh, eight was Chappie, which I liked because it just was a nice little feel-good story by the end. Um, took a while to build up to it, but it was still good. Not the same level of awesome as Elysium from last year, but still fun. Mm. Uh, Mr. Holmes was that one I mentioned earlier. Just like to see Holmes after he's retired and he's like an old shitter who can't do anything right. And he's, like, forgotten everything. But then he, you start kind of seeing him piece things together, and he's like, okay, I'm not out of it. It's just, it's really hard for me to do it when I can't remember shit. <laughs> um, I mean, it's a really good idea. It makes me kind of want to see, like, uh, like them return in 30 years to see Hugh Laurie play House after he's gotten all old and decrepit and shit. But, uh, yeah, good idea. Good premise. Um, Crimson Peak would have been higher if it actually been scary. But it looked really good, had some good acting, so I can't really complain about it on that level. It was still a good film, good story, just not scary, so disappointing a little bit. Uh, and then number six for me is actually Age of Ultron. Mm-hmm. Ah. A little lower than I expected it to, but a lot of big, good movies came out near the other half of the year where I couldn't ignore, so, you know, good on you, Ultron, you did great. You just weren't number one. Just put it out there. <laughs> now on the top five. All right. So do we just want to each do our ta- our, our fifth one as we're going through? <clears throat> um, I mean, I haven't seen too many movies. Well, so. well, like, what number are you going to jump in at? <laughs> I'll jump in when I jump in. Okay. Max, you ready? <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Wait, what, what are we doing again? <laughs> we're, we're, on, we're on top five movies, bro. Okay. Nice. So, so my number five is Star Wars Force Awakens. Um, lower because as good as it is, there are just some movies that just stuck out as being better in some ways that this one just didn't have. Um, but everything was still good about this, so the fact that it's this low does not mean it's like, you know, necessarily bad in any way. Hmm. But if, if the whole repeating everything from the previous movies as an apology was kind of a huge, big, obvious problem. Um... But if they decide to, if they if they do that, like if they continue repeating stuff from previous movies in the next film, I'm just gonna take the spot away, and give it to like Jupiter Ascending or some shit. <laughs> uh, I think I'm dying. I don't it. think it's a movie. Uh, I can tell you what is a movie though. What uh-huh. is a movie? Uh. I can't. I didn't watch, like, I don't think I've watched five movies this year. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm the only one to see any movies this year. It's hilarious. I think I saw so. The Martian. I saw Force <clears throat> Awakens. Um, 
Here, let me go look up what movies came out in 2015 and see what I've watched. <laughs> <laughs> Nicole, do you, do you do you have one you want to contribute, or should we move on to the next number? Um, I'll go with Star Wars too. You yeah, Star Wars, okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's see what I watched. Okay. <laughs> let's <laughs> let's take a moment. Wow, it's Max. almost midnight. We're on a timetable. Right. <laughs> okay, Krampus. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay, Max is gonna go with Krampus. <laughs> number five. <laughs> Odd choice. A little bit. <clears throat> number four. For me, it's Jurassic World because fuck you, dinosaurs. And um, as much as it is like a crap, uh, as as bad as it is, like as a crappy B level movie, it didn't try to be anything more than a crappy B level movie. It was like, okay, I know what I'm trying to be. I'm gonna be this and do the best. And it did a really good job being like a silly, like poor monster B movie thing. I think. Mm-hmm. Like it could have tried to go darker with like the Lost World of Jurassic World Park three nonsense, but no, it it stuck with what it did. It did a good job with it. Yeah. It knew what it was. It knew it was a dumb idiot, so it just didn't try any harder than it could. <laughs> oh, I know what my, my, my number four is. Which number four? <clears throat> I'm going to say Age of Ultron. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah, it was good, but, like, there was some better stuff out there. Fair enough. Like, it didn't build up to, like, the hype that I had for it. Nicole, how about you? Um, hmm. I'd probably put Jurassic World a little higher. You think so? Yeah. Well, wait till you see what my top three are, because that's... Uh, okay, I'll, I'll wait to your top three. Well, what, what's, what's your four, then? Um, Batman. <laughs> <laughs> that's going to be your answer for anything she doesn't have an answer for. <laughs> Alright, well, number three for me is Ant-Man, which is kind of weird that I put this above Avengers, but the thing <laughs> is, while Avengers is this big, epic film with all this shit happening, Ant-Man is kind of, like, focused on one idea, one character, one simple mechanic, and it did everything pretty much flawlessly for that simple thing. Mm. Like, like it didn't overburden itself with too many characters or character beats or plot threads going to different films. It's just like, I'm, its own, I'm my own thing. I'm going to do my own thing the best, and it did it, did it really well. Kind of reminded me back of the original, like, Iron Man and Hulk movies and all that stuff. Like, just simple and straightforward and good. And mm-hmm. fun. Yep. Also, the scene where the tank uh, is the keychain's a tank and blows up <laughs> shit. That's fun. That was great. That was awesome. <clears throat> <clears throat> Inside Out. <laughs> Inside Out, huh? Yeah, I really liked mm-hmm. it, actually. Interesting. I mean... I think I liked it a bit more than, like, for, say, the four-year-old who doesn't have a concept of death, but... <laughs> um, it was pretty good. Yeah, I liked it. Oh. Nicole, it's gonna be Batman again. <laughs> <laughs> I still need to see Inside Out. I keep... It's just... It's on the list. It, it should be on the list. It yeah, the list. it's on my to-do list. Um... I think I'll go Ant Man. Gonna go Ant Man? Yeah. Okay. It was uh, a nice, number, fun movie. It, 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 did, it did everything it needed to do just right. <clears throat> mm. um, number two for me is Inside Out. <laughs> 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 um, for me, it's just, you know, it's like after Cars 2 and the answer of, of Toy Story 4, it's like, why are we even letting Pixar do things anymore? And then you see them do something like this where it's like, original idea. It's been done before, but it's still it's something original that they've done, and like just how they pulled it off and how they show the emotions. And just a story that the parallel story of the girl and then the emotions inside of her actually worked really well. It kind of reminded me of the parallel story of Zuko and Aang a little bit. Mm-hmm. Two stories telling the same kind of thing, parts of the whole big picture, and it just worked really well. And like I think it's something that you know everyone should check out if they can. Probably the, one of the best, if not the best, Pixar film. It's a close call between it and Up. Mm. Up was so good. Up was really good. It's not getting number one this year, obviously, because it's not out this year. <laughs> Batman might. Ba- yeah, yeah, Batman's number one. <laughs> uh, Max, what about you, man? Um. Hmm. Martian. Number, t- number two is Martian? <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. Nicole? <laughs> mm-hmm. um, I'm going to go with Martian. 
You didn't even see Russia, did you? you <laughs> Shut <didn't> up. <laughs> <laughs> I can still vote for it. I do like how Batman, we didn't figure out this year, outranked Force Awakens somehow. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, for me, since we already talked about it, number one for me is Martian. I'm going to that one because I just think it told a story that didn't even really have a narrative. It's like, you know, just a character lost in a place trying to survive. Good enough story on its own that I just like, yeah, I, I can live with this. Yeah. This, is, this is perfect. Hmm. Would have liked more scenes with the team that he had, but obviously, honestly, it was fine the way it is. So, you know, Matt Damon, you finally won a movie for me. Good job. <laughs> Good job. Good job. Max, what's your number one movie of the year? Uh, spoiler free, free me no go on rant why I like it or why I actually like this movie. If you're going to talk about Star Wars, we've already spoiled it a lot in the previous yeah. podcast, okay. so you're fine. Okay, um, yeah, it is Star Wars. I mean, I expected Han to die. I did. <gasps> Han's dead? What? <laughs> Tag your spoilers, Max. <laughs> Damn it, Shui, I knew you were going to eat him. <laughs> and then you ate me. Oh my god. god. So why do you like why do you like Star Wars so much, Max? It was hyped. Like it lived up to its hype, I thought. Yeah, I could see that. Hmm. It did deliver a lot of hype and it has certainly done a good job. Yeah. There are a lot of people who would say it's not as good, but I'm like, you know what? Fuck you, it's good. <laughs> Pretty good. Pretty good. Uh I mean yeah, like I was kind of like when he handed the lightsaber to Han. I was like, "What, what the fuck are you doing? What, why would you hand, just throw it?" Can just we just talk it. about how beautiful those shots were? Mm-hmm. Ryan was freaking about the movie. I was freaking about how beautiful those shots were in that scene. I remember looking back at the old movies and like, the cinematography was terrible. Green screen bullshit everywhere. This one actually looked really good. Yeah. Like every frame was like a picture, pretty much like a like a painting. Uh, it was beautiful. I loved it. Nicole, you're number one for the year? Um, hmm. I already said Star Wars. Um, I'm going to say Jurassic World just based on the Ryan freak out when we all saw it in the theater. The row <laughs> was shaking during that's that the movie. Of hype there. <clears throat> yeah, that's how I rank movies. How good was the Ryan freak out? It shook the room, apparently. It shook the row. Oh my god. He was... And of course, I was sitting next to him. So he's... I'm experiencing the full force of him just seizing. But yeah, it was... It was good times. Alright, well that's our best movies of the year. And uh, we probably have time for like one more thing, I think. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, do you want to do like best game then? I don't have a lot of games I played because it's funny and shit, but I could probably name a couple that I played that I thought were really good. I mean, we can name a few. Yeah. Um, yep. So uh, the Ruby game came out this year. Tried playing that. Yeah. Not great, but still, I think it's got possibility. I'm looking forward to seeing where it goes. Mm-hmm. Um, I also played uh, Fallout 4. That was a thing. <laughs> I don't have that against it I just think it's like it, I just feel like it's lacking in something like I feel like there's no motivation for me to do shit in that game mm-hmm. which I've already complained about a I lot I know you've complained fucking baby is not even worth going after <laughs> <laughs> that's your real concern is your the life. baby um, <clears throat> I'm gonna have to say despite the hype for Fallout 4 and other games my number one game of the year is gonna be Kind of a surprise, but kind of not. It's going to be Dark Souls 2, Scholars of the First Sin. Uh, I know, it's a re-release of a game that came out a year and a half ago. (laughs) Shut up, I'm still picking it. Look, I'm not going to judge you. I picked Batman for like three things. Right. Splatoon is a close one, though. It was either that or Splatoon, honestly. Yeah. Um, what's what's a couple games I have here? Oh, wait, no! What? No! No, I've got it now. I okay. forgot the game we did in the freakout, Max. The one that we played that was really good. Oh, yeah! Yeah, Layers of Fear. That's number one. <laughs> yeah. That was really good. 
Let's see, what, what do I have on my list here? Um, I have Splatoon, of course. Yes. Yes. Because bucket or fuck it. Bucket or fuck it. 2015. Yep. Um, Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. Because I play that every week when we have our podcasts. Indeed. Yep. And, playing <laughs> <laughs> and a game that I just got recently and was so good I beat the first world in one night. Yoshi's Woolly World. Nice. <clears throat> I love so that game. That game is pretty good then? Yeah. I yeah, think you enjoy it. Shane got it for me for Christmas, and he got me the Yarn Amiibo, which is so fucking adorable. <clears throat> and pretty much when you use the Yarn Amiibo in the game, it just gives you an extra Yoshi, as uh, if you're doing co-op. Yeah. Um, I would like to point out, uh, it's not going to win any awards, or I don't think from us, but shout out to Mar Mario Maker for being frustrating. Yes. <laughs> shout well, out. Next about you, man. Oh man, I have a look. Some games I like. Um, you only have some games you like. No. <laughs> only some. Just the one. Well, Layers of Fear, I will tell you, is on the <clears throat> top of my list. It was really good. Surprisingly good. It was the PT this year that we all wanted. <laughs> <clears throat> um, The Witcher 3 is on there. Oh yeah. Fallout 4, obviously. Undertale is on there. Because I freaking loved Undertale, dude. Like, Tammy, man. <clears throat> I love exploiting the retarded. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds horrible and delightful wow. at the same time. Man, you guys didn't watch the stream, so you didn't know. <laughs> um, and you know, Aaron, that rake, the rake game that, that was did bugged. that come out this year though? Yeah, I don't. Oh, it did I didn't okay? Like it? That was sarcastic. <laughs> okay, okay. Um. As I look through my Steam library. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> Can I just say Counter Strike? Because, I mean, Revolver Update oh, came out this year. Can't count Counter Strike. <laughs> I think that's it then. Why not? Like, we yeah. counted Batman. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> what? What? Batman <laughs> Arkham Knight. Best game of the. No, fuck that. <laughs> um. Yeah, I think that's it. I think. Uh. Um, oh, wait, uh, <clears throat> oh, StarCraft II Legacy of the Void. Did that come out this year? Yeah. Oh, okay, I didn't know oh. that. I, thought, I don't follow StarCraft that much, so I was not sure. I thought yeah, that was StarCraft last year. Legacy, no, that was uh, Heart of the Swarm last oh, year. Oh, right. Right. Why do I have a Skype call called Third Reich? I'm not surprised with you. <laughs> oh, it's the Dota 2. Oh. <clears throat> so, uh, let's... Ow. so, is that going to be our uh, end of the year wrap up? All the best of, worst of, all that stuff? I believe so. All right, well, uh, before we go, what is something that you are looking forward to doing in 2016, guys? Hmm. Something to wrap it up with. Uh, more evac station stuff. Yeah. That should be fun. It's going to be great. Uh, I'm looking forward to the end of March. Hmm. That'll be fun. But, oh yeah, because uh, there be might great. be some there, there might be some fun videos <clears throat> coming out around then that yeah. might that might include people people on a camera live. Oh, yeah. What? I don't know what that's about. I, I think it's a rooster teeth thing, but we'll oh, find out right. for sure at the end of March. <clears throat> oh, yeah, if it's a rooster teeth thing, why is it on the evac station? Uh, I just wanted to point it out. <laughs> <laughs> it's a thing that might happen. It's a thing that might happen. Mm-hmm. Pe we get bus tickets. <laughs> <laughs> People in front of a camera doing stuff. That's pretty much what, we, what we're going to sum that up as, yes. Yeah. So, porn? Question mark? <laughs> we are making porn at the end of March. Confirmed. <laughs> Ryan's not here, but someone has to confirm it. I confirm it. Okay. Ryan says he confirms it. <laughs> okay. I'm looking forward to next week when Ryan... <clears throat> When Ryan, we tell him about this, and he's like, what? I didn't confirm I'm doing porn. Yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, it's part, it's part of your contract. You just have to accept yeah, it. Yeah, just accept it. Take off the pants. <laughs> 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 Gotta make sure 
make sure you're uh, flying with all the tools you need. <laughs> <laughs> so any uh, New Year's resolutions? Um, Besides getting a jetpack? I'm never going to get that jetpack. I'm going to try. Well, one year, so, you're going to get it. One year. And then you're not going to know what to do next year. Here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking the two things I want most, aside from being successful at something, mm -hmm. <laughs> not just any anything, but <laughs> something. Yeah. Um, aside from that, uh, you know, getting, meeting a nice girl and having something happen there and a jetpack, it's going to be at the same time, but it's going to be when I'm really old. <laughs> like, I'm going to be like <laughs> 75, and all of a sudden this amazing, beautiful woman who is perfect for me in every way is going to just descend from the heavens in a jetpack, and she's going to be like, hey, you want this? And I'm like, you want the jetpack? It's like both. I'm like, <gasps> I have a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be what happens. <clears throat> yeah, I can see it. <laughs> I'm, stick I'm sticking to my guns on that one. Alright. All right. Max? Um, hmm. What's a good New Year's resolution? <laughs> Don't go for a jetpack. It's, je it's a hoax. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go with the... It, like a legit one? Or can does it have to be a legit one? I mean... It, it can be whatever you want it to be. Yeah. I'm going to say to make more laughs. Like, to make more... To become a bit more funnier and have more people laugh at, like, my jokes and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Already working on it. Yep. <clears throat> well, I mean, it is the year of Max. It is the year of Max. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Maximum Max. Yeah, that needs to be our banner on YouTube. I will do an edit of that as soon as I can. That'll be our new banner. Yeah. Aren't we Max. still on Shocktober? Did I not switch it? I thought I switched I don't it think the... so. <laughs> or on Facebook. Yeah. On one of them, it's still Shocktober. And I'm like, yep, we're still in Shocktober. It's, it's, it's <clears> always <throat> Shocktober. It can't be any better than that. Yep, every month is Shocktober. Uh, the f YouTube is normal. Okay. Guys, do you remember this website called Twitch? Because I don't. Oh, what's I that? Already, I don't remember what Twitch is. <clears throat> yeah, it's still Shocktober on Facebook, though. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Nicole, you use your New Year's resolution to, to get rid of Shocktober? <laughs> it is Shocktober every month. Every month. <clears throat> yeah. Um, hmm. What am, what am I going to try and do next year? I've already got a list of things that I need to watch that grows every day. <coughs> um. Hmm. <laughs> um. I'm probably just gonna try and make more content. Nice. More, more hilarious things for the internet to enjoy, such as this. Or, or jetpacks. Yeah. Look, if I want jetpack before before March happens, we're gonna do some jetpack shenanigans. <laughs> um, actually, yeah. That, can I change my New Year's resolution? To what? To what? Like higher quality content because like I'm the reason that Dixieland has not been uploaded for like two weeks is because a I'm going on hiatus with it a bit. <laughs> like next, it's going to be uploaded this Sunday again. Okay. okay. But um. I have no editing software or no editing skills whatsoever. Yeah, get so, like, good. I, want, yeah, I want to get, get good, good yeah. Max. Yeah, that's what I want to do. <clears throat> oh, so we have a very busy 2015 ahead of us. You mean 16. You mean 16, yes. 16. <laughs> there wasn't enough frying bashing in this. That, Fuck that Ryan. <laughs> Piece of shit. <laughs> Fuck okay, Ryan. Do you want me just to do it all right now, right here, right now? I mean, might, might as well. Ryan, you piece of shit, motherfucking hyper ass piece of shit, lard ass. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't say holy in front of any of that. <sighs> Just let it me doesn't go. matter. It's fine. <laughs> let me go into the Skype chat real quick. Yeah, <coughs> uh... <laughs> Does that make up for it? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> We're going to start saying holy and before we cuss, and Ryan's going to be like, what the fuck are you guys doing? Mm-hmm. Then I'll 
I'll say something horrible like titty fucking Jesus, and he'll be like, what? <laughs> it's fine, you said holy. <laughs> <laughs> so can we make an abortion joke if we put holy in front of it? Holy abortion joke, Batman. <laughs> holy mother abortions. <laughs> I wholly aborted those references over there with this razor. <laughs> Happy 2016, everybody. Happy 2016. Piss off. <laughs> <laughs>